Okay, vamonos. Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Luisa. You are watching Lulu, c'est la vie. And for today's video, I am having fun with a new toy that you probably saw in the, the thumbnail. Um, it's called a hooded hair dryer or a bonnet hair dryer. I don't know, however you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it a bonnet hair dryer. And, and then voila. Then you're gonna ask me, Louisa, why are you trying this? Like, what's going on? Well, for those of you who follow me, you know that last week I was at the Widad Hair Salon. And while I was at the Widad Hair Salon, I had an aha moment where I realized that I needed this in my life. Okay, so there's, here's how it happened. Um, Alina, my hairstylist, by the way, I will link the We Dad Hair Salon episode right here for you guys to catch up. Um, Alina, my hairstylist, apply a 12-minute treatment on my hair while I was there. And um, after applying it, she put me under the hood, <laughs> under the, the hood dryer, okay? Um, and then she explained to me that every time you do a treatment or a mask or a deep conditioning or whatnot it's really important to put a heat on your hair because the heat will allow the product to be absorbed by your hair better and get deep inside your hair better and all that good stuff so while i was under the hood for 12 minutes i went on my amazon and i ordered this guy this thing this little this little thingy here look at how cute and small this is can you believe this? You can throw this in in your suitcase. You, I mean, it's so easy to storage. It's like, anyhow, it cost me about $22. By the way, if you are interested in buying and trying this, and if you wanna buy it, I will link it in my Amazon store. The link to my Amazon store is in the description box below. Every time you order from my store, I get a little bit of money. So, you know, you, if you wanna help out your girl, feel free to, click on that link um all right so what happened next oh yes i received my uh my bonnet hair dryer and um yes and thank god i did because when i woke up <laughs> i looked like that yes it was not a pretty picture lately i've been struggling with my hair you guys my hair has been super dry my hair porosity is off the chart it is super super dry it does not retain moisture it's a pain in my butt it feels like my hair is damaged but i i don't really know why it's like nothing happened and then it decided to be damaged so anyhow that's for another video that's coming next week on how i am handling changing uh my hair porosity slowly but surely we'll we'll talk about that next week back to this week's video so i decided to do my very first hair treatment using um, my bonnet hair dryer so for this treatment i decided to use the shea moisture um, hydrated repair protein power treatment uh, to that i added one egg for the good fat and the protein i added a little bit of honey for the sleekiness and some arrogant oil. I mixed everything together for a little while because that protein treatment from Shea Moisture is super thick, so it took me a minute to get it to be liquid. And I applied it all over my hair. Of course, before that, I did wash my hair, I forget to mention. Um, and then when I applied the product on my hair, I tried to mimic the gesture that Alina was doing at the Widad Hair Salon. It helps the product get into your hair better. It helps close the, the hair follicles so that you retain the moisture for longer. And voila. Once I was done applying the product on my hair, I covered my hair with a plastic uh, bonnet that um, would trap the moisture and the product in my hair. And then I put on my hooded hair dryer. This was the fun part. The bonnet was quite easy to put on, you know. Um, you just put that little strap under your head. You kind of adjust it to the size of your head. And then this one doesn't have an elastic around your head. It's more of a string that you will put pull 
according to the size of your head. That part was not super comfortable, but you know, nothing too bad. Um, so yeah, it took me a minute to adjust it. I didn't really want to have my ears inside the bonnet because of the hot air and my piercings. I did not want the metal to get heated and hurt my piercing. I still have some piercings that are healing. So once I managed that, I was all good to go. Um, after a while, that little string that was under my my uh, my head, I took it out and I attached it to the back of my head because it was kind of annoying. Um, also, I did not want to have my ears inside the bonnet, not just for the heat, but also for the noise. I wanted to be able to hear what's going on, to listen to a video, to listen to music, you know. And finally, I attached my hair dryer to the to the bonnet I, I guess at first I put the heat and the speed on high and I quickly realized that it was too hot and it was just too much so I went ahead and changed the heat and the speed to low and um, and I kept it like that for the remaining of the time I put my timer on 15 minutes and that's the part when I had fun with the thing <laughs> yeah you know what it's just it was very funny i felt like a cone head goddess um yeah it was <laughs> it was just it was funny all right once i was done with my 15 minutes i stopped the hair dryer took out the uh, bonnet hair dryer and to cut the little plastic bonnet that was keeping my hair together my hair felt very uh, warm and super moist and there was still a lot of product nothing was drying because the little plastic cap was keeping everything um, routine it was keeping everything together um, and then I went ahead and rinsed my hair off when I rinsed my hair off um, this treatment was not really super silky treatment it was more like a protein boost type of treatment so I um, I add a little bit of one minute hair mask from Garnier to give me that soft and silky touch and then I went ahead and styled my hair. To style my hair I used three products that I've been using all week and to be honest I am loving this combo right now. I'm, it's free products. If you guys follow me you know I don't like to put more than two products in my hair but my hair needs free products right now. <laughs> All right, so the live-in conditioner I use is the free-in-one live-in from Sunbum. I already did a review on this. Um, I'm loving this. It's lightweight, but yet it hydrates. And, um, you know, it's just what my fine hair needs. It's not too heavy, but it does the job. And I put it mostly on the length of my hair. On the roots, I put the uh, volumizing hydrating foam for good for fine and flat hair uh, and that brand is the good stuff I also have a review on my channel on this product I'll see if I can link them um, up here for you guys and then um, I put all the, these two products on my hair I use the demon brush to distribute the product all over my hair and then I divide my hair in three parts two side parts and one back part on each part I put about two pea size uh, of this Widad Advanced Control Climate uh, Advanced Climate Control Gel that I got uh, last week at the hair salon. And then, and then, and then, oh yes, and then the styling was the rake and shake technique. Woo, I'm getting good at pronunciation, you get the rake and shake technique, which is you take a section of hair, you rake your fingers through, you shake it and you scrunch and you do another section, you do your entire hair like that. Um, and then this is pretty much the result I get. Uh, now, the clip that I showed you was my first time using the hooded hair dryer. Um, I've been using it about three or four more times since. What have I done? I have used it i've tried it to dry my hair to 
see how my hair would look if I use the hooded hair dryer uh, instead of my diffuser uh, and the result was not very satisfying I didn't really like my curl definition I was lacking of volume and it took half an hour to 40 minutes for my hair to be completely dry so that's a no-go for me I don't have time for that and it's it was not worth it the, the result was not worth it the good part though was that my hair was super uh, soft and shiny and not I mean it felt slightly different to the touch but um, yeah I don't I don't have that kind of time like that you know I need like to be able to dry my hair in 15 minutes 20 minutes top but 15 minutes really um and then i did two more treatments on my hair i did one this morning uh, and these two treatments i only use a regular mask uh i think i did the one minute hair mask from garnier and then this morning i used my all-time favorite favorite manuka honey uh, what was it called again i'll put a picture right here uh, from shea moisture to which i added a little bit of argan oil um, I used the same three product as styling technique exactly how I described it to you and um, you know what it's been about a little bit over a week it's been like 10 days of me using this hooded hair dryer every time I do a mask or a deep conditioning and I'm starting to see a result the result that I'm seeing is that my hair is shines more and retain starts retaining moisture longer uh, and that's great well of course I already have my freeze here my little uh, hello of freeze uh, I'm working on that but to be honest at this point I just have to roll with it it is what it is I really think that this hooded dryer is a big deal when it comes to having your product penetrate inside your hair it will be I would be really interested to see the result uh, after using a product like Olaplex or uh, Afuji protein treatment thingy or um, I don't know something that really or that we did that super expensive we that 12 minute treatment that I can't afford right now because it's like hundred fifty dollars for a bottle which is like ugh, is there gold in there why well why I know why I had the product in my hair it's amazing amazing but yeah using something like this um, for any hair treatment whether it's a DIY or a commercial product or a mix of both like I did uh, in this video uh, it's it really it's a big deal and it's super affordable it's 20 two dollars top you can even i'm sure you can find it for cheaper all right my love i think this is it for this video i think i talked about everything i wanted to say um you sh guys should definitely try it i think it makes a big difference and to be honest it takes 10 to 20 minutes depending on how long you want this mask to be on your head between 10 and 20 minutes and you're done and you know that this that the product in your hair is really gonna penetrate and you will see the difference in your hair and all the jazz all right i'm done <laughs> done next week i'm coming to you with a video that's gonna be super interesting about how i managed to not change but if kind of a little bit change a little bit my hair porosity because something's up with my hair this whole month of september that just passed was bananas my hair went a wire and there was no moisture retention in my hair uh, maybe an hour after I was done uh, drying my hair I was like Phew. freeze dryness I seriously I the last time I had that was bleach damage okay and even my curl pattern is weird but also I'm, well, anyways this is for next week's video so stay tuned I will be posting on Friday next week about my hair porosity until next week my love don't forget to like subscribe and share if you have not yet what are you waiting for um have a beautiful life au revoir et à bientôt <laughs> hey c'est la vie <laughs>